ZNUPF rural strongholds are targeted by CCC. According to the opposition CCC party, the majority of their campaign rallies would take place in rural areas, which are typically considered to be ZNUPF territory. The plan was disclosed by CCC spokesperson Fetzeim a year after party leader Nelson Chamisa addressed at three rallies in the Midlands on Wednesday. Chamisa, however, has met challenges, with authorities prohibiting the majority of his planned rallies for unknown reasons. Chumisa's policy of focusing on rural voters is praised by analysts who claim it confronts the new PF in an area it views as its safe political term. Communities where the democratic space is most constricted need to hear the CCC message. Police barricades, however, still exist. Police yesterday prevented roadshows from taking place at Chumisa's rally in Bytridge. And the court agreed. Mayer criticized the police, claiming that the prohibition had nothing to do with the law and was instead motivated by repression. Although CCC allegedly followed rally regulations, she alleges that the police are not being honest. According to experts, Chumisa might win the president if CCC is able to sway rural people who have previously supported ZNUPF. They are the individuals who have perpetuated ZNUPF. If you want to undo ZNUPF, you need to go into its base, analyst F. Inkube says. CCC is waging war in ZNUPF's rural stronghold. Yet police continue to obstruct the way. Will rural voters even be able to hear the CCC's message due to police repression? Only the results of the election will be known.